Hey guys, Andrew here, and in this episode, I am going to try, oh, let's make it daytime at least, and show you not how the digital miner works, but how the Tesseract works. I'll do a tutorial on this another time in a different video, because it's actually really simple. So what I have set up here is Creative Energy Cell. So this works on Redstone Flux or Minecraft Jewels, which is really helpful. And, um... You can use. I'm not. Even, why am I explaining what this is? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly s delete that. So just going to quickly. That's how to mine all ore. So that's just that. Going to keep it really simple. And yep. And auto eject is on. Okay, cool. So what you want to do is this is the front of the digital miner. This is why am I explaining it? So then you put your tesseract on it. Um let's just go with I don't know delete that, don't want that. We have all out frequency one. So you just put in one well I'll get rid of it and then I'll redo it again. So put in one frequency one, call it all call it whatever you want. And this one we're gonna put item mode and send only and then block these ones. You don't have to, but it's just easier. And then click this set frequency right here set save frequency and then set frequency sorry so you want to save it and then set it so that it's on then what you're going to do next to a chest is you're going to have receive only item mode and I'm just going to block these two for that of it and then go and use this one and set frequency now I've put down this iron ore here so what's going to happen is when I start it mining it says 30 to mine and this should go da down like so and it's mining it and it has been teleported into this chest simple as that so you can use these to go between dimensions um, so if you want lots of lava and you want netherrack you can go into the nether place one of these down miles away and then just mine up the nether uh, go somewhere that's just cobblestone mine up all the cobblestone simple as that see I hope this tutorial was helpful um, with liquid and energy it's the exact same as this you just make a frequency set it send receive and uh, yeah that is simple as that so I hope this tutorial was helpful um, leave a comment if it wasn't <laughs> and I will hope to see you in my next video